Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to the bus stop. This is one thing I love about staying on property is really utilizing the included transportation that you have. I think almost everybody's always gonna say that it's faster to take, you know, your own transportation, right? If you have a car or even get a Lyft or an Uber, but you I know- I mean, it definitely is. The, the thing that's really nice though, is that like you can just kind of relax a little bit more. You don't have to worry about driving or in our case, you know, if we go to Hollywood Studios with a car, we might be sitting there waiting until they open the gate up. So it's just faster, I think in my mind, to just take the, I don't know. Uh, I'm tired, <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet. We're going to Hollywood Studios. So let's go. Run. We're waiting for you guys. Thank you. you. Guys I know, thank you. We're thank late, you. sorry. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. yep. You all have a good day. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so it's almost eight o'clock. We're waiting to go in. Hopefully we can do Rise of the Resistance. That's where we're, we're rope dropping to Rise of the Resistance. I had no plan until we got here and we're standing in line. <laughs> so I just wonder how many other people here are all gonna go to Rise? Like 90%. <laughs> You're welcome. No finger needed, I scan it. Thank you. Uh, Oh my gosh! Okay. I'm like, I'm the problem child now. <laughs> so everybody's on the hustle, and more than likely this entire crowd of people is all heading back to Rise of the Resistance. So we're all gonna go the same way as well. So if you might be wondering kind of like why the whole big rush is here for Rise of the Resistance, years ago when it first opened, there was actually a virtual queue. So there was no need to run or try to be some of the first people to the ride, because uh, you couldn't do standby. So you'd have to get a virtual queue and hopefully that you got into that virtual queue, and then you'd show up at your return time. And they've since, uh, I don't know, the last maybe two years, uh, it's no longer a virtual queue. And it's just it's standby. Yeah, it's just standby and uh, basically lightning lane. So you'd have to purchase a lightning lane ticket, kind of like a fast pass if you've been here in the past. Uh, to kind of skip the line. So that's why everybody's running to try and get in because this is like the premier attraction here at Hollywood Studios and it does get really, really long, like hours and hours of a wait. So perfect. I see people we were in line with. Especially if, uh, you know, if there happen to be some mechanical issues or something like that. So don't um, manifest that. It's really what important. What is wrong with you? It's really important to try and get here as quickly as you can without running and causing a scene. So. Um, that's what we're doing. I don't know how long we'll actually be waiting in line. Um, that's going to be just be determined by how many people are in front of us. So you guys saw where we're at standing there waiting to go through the uh, turnstiles or where you would scan your park ticket. So we'll see uh, where we're at when we get up to the actual queue. But even still... How much time? Nine minutes to this point, and we're almost to the merge point. Mer if you don't know, merge point is where the wait time ends. Let's go down this side. side. <laughs> That's why you get on the empty side. Exactly. <laughs> This does 
not look good. Try to find another way down to the escape pods. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields. Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their safety! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. Our friends. We're not to the legal class. There's no way to run. Fire Well, that was fun. Star, uh, Rise of the Resistance. Star? Yeah, I know, right? Star Wars, that Star think, Wars ride. Can you, can you call it Star Wars Rise of the Resistance? I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. I just usually call it Rise, unless I try to say stars. <laughs> but uh, I think that that is much like Flight of Passage, where you can't get off of that ride and not have a big smile on your face, because it's yeah. just, it's really fun. Um, and it really takes you deep, I think, into like the Star Wars lore even whenever it's in B mode. And if you don't know what that means, essentially there's the one room where Kylo Ren can kind of move about um, before like the wall cut, like collapses and it comes down and like hides him. So that was already down. So he wasn't moving. So they do like a projection in the room of him like in his like fighter jet, TIE oh, fighter yeah. thing, right? So that's kind of like what B mode is. So you don't actually get to see Kylo doing his thing. But even with that being said, it still is a fantastic ride. It's so much fun and definitely worth the wait uh dare i say i would probably that's one ride i'd probably wait 60 minutes for just because it's really good so we're going to try and jump on millennium falcon because hopefully it's not a super long wait it says it's about 20 minutes so we'll see uh if it's running at full steam then it should be good to go and we should have a pretty short wait i mean it's not coming outside but it could be wrapping inside man i'll never forget that time when we got to come in first thing in the morning and get the huge reveal for this thing, it was awesome. So it now says about 30 minutes for the standby, so we're going to go do it. Well, we are, we came to Hollywood Studios literally just to rope drop Rise of the Resistance. We rode the Millennium Falcon, and now we're gonna leave. We're gonna go to Epcot. Well, that's not exactly why we just came here. We were gonna do more stuff, but the wait times are extremely long. Yeah, I, so in previous videos, we mentioned that it is spring break here right now. Yes. Uh, it's currently Thursday. This morning, Thursday. you can tell it's spring break. Yeah, it's Thursday <laughs> before Easter as well. So yes. it's a busy week uh, here in Disney in general uh, when you have a holiday and spring break that coincides with each other so uh the it's expensive um to get disney genie plus to try and skip some of those lines yes i think is. we were looking at like 35 dollars per person uh and that's not for like the individual lightning lane attractions that's just so that you can skip some of the rides so uh not really worth it for us so we're gonna head on out and we're gonna go to epcot taylor's gonna get a cup we're, we're gonna, gonna eat take the skyliner we're gonna eat at uh Connections. Connections. And then we're also 
I'm gonna try to ride Soren. So yes. let's go have some fun. Taylor, do you know what else I just realized? No. That today is the first time we're gonna get to take advantage of the new park hopping rules. Oh. Yeah, it is. Because for the last few years, we haven't been going to the parks. I know, but like for the last few years since the parks have reopened, you can't park hop till two o'clock. And so today it is currently what time? Nine twenty-eight. So we'll be in Epcot probably by ten. Yep. Um, and that's really great. Where is the exit? Are they just assuming nobody's exiting at this time? I think we can exit right here. Yeah, she's waving <laughs> at us. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Like, Oh, I just us. assumed they thought nobody's leaving yet. So. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, no, you'd be surprised. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you'll transfer to the next station. Yep. Perfect. Go ahead. 250. You'll Thank be you. Watch your step. Go on. Hello. And we've successfully made it to Epcot. We have. What's with the voice? I don't know. But uh, we're now going to go and head on over to Soren. Well, it looks like it's gone up to 45, but we'll see if it actually takes that long. Oh. Is it clear all to here? I'm not sure what's happening. Are people just like not going I don't in the know. queue? Oh my god, it is. Josh, ain't no way this is 45 minutes. <laughs> That's like two hours. <laughs> there ain't no way. Josh Living wants, with the land. Josh wants to cry right now. Josh can cry. <laughs> Well, that was quite disappointing. Uh, Taylor does have a point. Like, if, if the line is all the way back out to, like, the entrance, then it is definitely not 45 minutes. No. Uh, it's way. definitely got to be above 60. And I love Soren, but I'm not going to wait that long. So we're going to get on Living with the Land, which is a pretty short wait because the line is not uh, crazy long right now. Five minutes. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar Fine. All right, so we are in the Connections Eatery or cafeteria. Eatery, the cafe is the Starbucks side. Right. So uh, you can obviously do two different things here. You can either mobile order, you can go wait in line. We waited in line because the mobile order wasn't until like 1230. Ooh. And it would have been, or 1130, sorry. So we would have still been waiting about another 15 minutes before we could actually on up and gotten our food. So it's faster to do that. Um, Taylor's got a burger, and I've got this really good-looking uh, chicken sandwich, yeah, very resemblant of a uh, Chick-fil-A. It's really hot. Hot as in fresh, but it is really, oh, really good. I hope my burger is good, because yeah. I almost had you change me to the chicken sandwich last Ooh. second. Oh, we did not talk about our food. Taylor, how was your burger? Oh. I didn't even look at myself in the mirror. Do I look okay yeah, after you're eating? Fine. You're good. Is there stuff in my teeth? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cut my finger after lunch, uh, but burger was actually really good. The caramelized onions and that like Dijon aioli, I think it was. That uh -huh. was really good. And the burger was really juicy. Sometimes quick service burgers, you just don't really know what you're going to get. Um, but that was good. I would eat it. I'd get that again. Definitely. What is this line for? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, Moana. Moana. Moana of Matanui. It's nice to have like another yeah. like kind of newish character to meet. Yeah. Can we just go into like the aquarium side? Oh guys, I wish is a GoPro on. Yeah. I wish you could see Josh's face right now. He just gave me like puppy dog eyes to like please, can we please go in the aquarium side? So we're going in the aquarium. No, so please, this is uh, a this this line is for living with the seas. Listen, or the seas with Nemo and friends, sorry. This and is just a typical holiday type week. Yeah, it's busy. It's uh it's busy because it is a holiday, like Taylor said. And if you spring think break. this is busy, don't come around Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> All that to say though, and just to kind of point this out that like you have to manage your expectations and have some patience when you're coming over spring break with the holidays intact, like you know, like we said, Easter is right around the corner. It's literally yeah, this weekend. And so if you can swing it and you can do the lightning lane for your family, right? Do it because yeah. 
I mean, come early in the morning, rope drop, stay on property, do the early entry for 30 minutes to an hour, depending right. on the park. Yeah. They'll let you in early. We got in an hour early this morning. Um, and then using the lightning lane, like you'll still get to do everything you want, but this is a good opportunity to just take advantage of time at your resort yeah. too. That's pretty cool, yeah. I don't think we've ever been in here and seen them doing, uh, you know, like a whatever they're doing with the dolphins and stuff. <laughs> People in with the dolphins. Well, it's, it's kind of like a tour that you can book. Yeah. Dive quest and dolphins in depth. That's probably what that was. Oh, 